Hello. I'm um I'm out in the green swamp, probably four or five miles from Fanny Road, but north of the Withlacoochee River where it crosses through north of Polk City. And I'm going out to a site, I'm gonna find a couple campsites and just see what they look like, but I'm also gonna go out to the Stewart homestead, the site of a double axe murder <laughs> at the turn of the last century. I think around the time of the First World War. This part of the trail is on the Florida Trail, but it leaves it pretty often. Back there goes the Florida Trail to the left there. That'll go out to Mott Hammock Camp, which is one I'm on the lookout. Right now I'm on an old, like a hundred year old shell road that's a remnant of the, um, the old widespread logging industry out here. Um, and I'm just on a mountain bike to get miles to do some scouting around. Um, it's all hot today, man. It's August in Florida. A little east of 40-something um, miles east of Tampa, probably about 40-something miles west of Orlando, north of the city of Lakeland. But um, I'll check in with you a little later after I've got something to, something to photograph. Right now i got probably about three miles to do, but I'll, I'll check in with you a little later. I found the spot, and I mean, you're on, you're on kind of hallowed ground. It's just unthinkable 100 years ago. But you actually, you're probably five, six miles from a paved road, but there's some logging roads out here you can take. And I mean, you pass through this kind of this eerie arch here, frankly. And the first thing you come to is the little area where they were buried. Um, I think the state, probably the water management district, came in at one time and put up a substantial fence. But and then the corner, you see the house that they were actually murdered in. Um, I can't, I don't know the year exactly. 1918. I'm sure it's going to be marked on the on the grave site. But no, that's a house been here over 100 years. <laughs> Stewart Homestead, Mr. and Mrs. Stewart, I, Sam, and Sarah, 1860 to 1980, 1845 to 19, 1918. Axe murdered together in their home by Sally's grandson, Joshua Browning, and his friend, John Tucker. Apparently, Tucker had a mean streak. Um, story is I, Sam, would live out here. I mean, just, this is their home, okay? And would sell... Um, a molasses, a sugar cane uh, syrup to the loggers, and it's cash. And apparently, Isom had a fear that it was during the war and that the government would clear out banks to pay for the war. Um, so he didn't keep his money in a bank. And his, his her, actually her grandson, 15, he was, she was 15 years older than Isom, if you noticed. Uh, her biological grandson brought his friend Tucker out here to, with the idea of robbing him. They, Rode down from Rich Loam, um, had supper. Sally made him supper, and um, and they murdered him. The wall was kicked out by the deputies. They 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 predicted that they'd been dead about ten days before the authorities finally got there, and their bodies were in such condition that they just kicked out the wall of their home. And the bed springs laid there for years and years, and they carried them out on the bed springs and, and buried them right here in the middle of the green swamp. It was gigantic beautiful tree that witnessed every bit of it but there's their home let's go inside the floor struts are still there roof still intact this little stump sally had upholstered it 
fact, you can see, still see the nails, the upholstery nails in it. She'd upholstered this piece of furniture. Uh, bless her heart. Um, but this was their entire home. It's not a shed. This was their front door. It's a bedroom. And they kicked out the bad back door there to, to get them out. Uh, a lot of the materials still here, the original materials, original wood. And somewhere around here, I guess, was his sugarcane field. They made his molasses and tried to make a living. Very sad. Very sad. I mean, now with the internet and GPS and stuff, I'm sure it's visited more frequently, but it's 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 been there over a hundred years. I mean, they were killed in 1918, 202 years ago. Um, and who knows how long it had been, you know, when nice and built it and but man, they lived remote. They lived remote. They were they were remote from little remote towns. Just lived out here at the very edge of the logging industry. And I guess he'd ride his horse up there. And the reason they knew something was wrong is his horse showed up in Richloam. I'm gonna guess it's 15, 12, 15 miles as the crow flies up one of these logging roads. Just his horse showed up in town. And so they sent the, the son of Sarah, the father of the, one of the killers, down to see and he and his other son um found the found the bodies but you can see this magnificent oak it was certainly certainly here probably looked a lot like it did um when all that was going on unfortunately there's the grave site so another gigantic oak but this was homestead and somehow he carved out a living in this unbelievably remote swamp um it's sad it's sad it's hard to believe, like Bruce Springsteen said, there's just meanness in this world sometimes. All right, well, that's the Stewart Homestead in the Green Swamp. I'm gonna head on out and find a mountain camp. Check in with you later.